Labour's Work and Pension spokeswoman Rachel Reeves has proposed a number of key changes to her party's benefits policy. In an interview for the Mail Online, she suggested the party would extend the period that job seekers from the EU wait before they can claim out of work benefits from three months to two years. Well, joining us now from Westminster is UKIP's migration and financial affairs spokesman Stephen Wolfe. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. What do you make of Rachel Reeves' proposals? Well, it's obviously um, the Labour Party is now trying to find a way to get back into the immigration debate when they have been so far behind it for so long. On this particular issue, though, I do have rather strong concerns. Firstly, they are saying they're trying to push this back for two years. Well, that looks like they're trying to push the issue down into the long grass. But secondly, and more importantly, having listened to so many EU MEPs and commissioners, it's absolutely clear they will challenge this. And this will be challenged in the European courts. So what would you do? Well, what we've said is they're quite right to recognise that benefits from EU migrants is an issue for people in this country. But it is only one small issue, the issue really about wages and displacement of jobs and how wages are pushed down because of mass low-skilled migration is the bigger issue. What we have always said is that we must actually challenge the EU to change the rules completely so that the, Euro so that the UK can actually have complete control of its borders and decide whether we want EU migrants in for jobs that we need or not. And equally, that they must allow us to have a migration policy that accepts other people from across the globe on an equal basis, not the unequal basis that we have at the moment. You'll be aware that, that uh, Rachel Reeves' comments follow an announcement by Yvette Cooper earlier this morning of uh, a proposed extra thousand border officials. Uh, what do you make of that? I would have thought you were in favour of it, are you? Well, I was in favour of it. In my, uh, speech, uh, in my Doncaster speech before the UKIP conference only last month, I made an announcement that UKIP would actually make an increase of two and a half thousand border agency staff. And we'd costed that out and made it clear. And we would actually also ensure that the border agency staff have enough support to control illegal migration, which the UN is saying costs about 15 and a half billion pounds a year. So I would support the Labour Party in actually having extra jobs. But I don't believe it's going far enough. And actually, they're probably a copy of my speech. How concerned are you that with these announcements from Labour, we heard David Cameron talking about the issue last week as well, that actually the main parties now are stealing UKIP's thunder? Well, they're attempting to steal UKIP's thunder, but they will never be able to deal with the one main and important issue. If you want to have an ethical migration policy that looks at people from across the globe equally so that we can take the best talent from across different countries, not just the EU, they cannot do so unless they're outside of the European Union. And without them challenging that particular fact, they'll always be behind the curve. And for that reason, they're desperately trying to find ways, including the thousand border agency staff today, or indeed this on benefits, to try and find a way in which they can ca catch up with uh, our policies and the, our strategy and approach to migration in this country. Okay, for now, Stephen Wolfe, many thanks.